And Focus Pizza Pro 10 has some amazing new features. It has detailed and accurate color handling. It can minimize your file size. We have redesigned the Action List Editor. There are a wide range of customer features implemented. And we have a Pizza Workgroup Manager for floating licenses. Pitstop Pro 10 is big on color. A rendering engine is added to Pitstop, which allows us to do a full ink coverage check, taking transparencies and overprinting objects into account. The check can be found in the processing color category of the preflight profile. Whenever we run the check on a PDF file, the navigator will show a heat map with the problem areas in lighter or darker red colors in order to specify the degree of total ink coverage. We also now provide the same ink coverage check in the eyedropper. This counts for the problem areas for ink coverage but as you can see also for overprinting objects. The color picker is now consistent with the other presets. As part of the standard colors, the Pantone Plus libraries are now included. You still have the ability to show the document spot colors and you can easily create a new color in the, lo in the local list. You can filter with the search engine and you are allowed to drag and drop your favorite colors into the favorite list. Next to creating new colors, we also have the ability to import color libraries, such as the Photoshop user swatches or Adobe color li libraries, as well as CSV files. The imported color will have its own category, and all colors are nicely set and displayed in the color picker. In Pitstop 10, you have the ability to create your own presets. You have a new icon in the toolbar that displays all the standard presets and local presets, Next to standard presets, you also have the ability to sync with your Acrobat settings. When double-clicking a preset, it opens the preset editor where we have the settings for source and target ICC profiles, as well as the ability to use black point compensation when converting colors. In Pitstop 10, there is a global change that allows you to remove any unused data to minimize the file size. To guarantee a minimum file size, Pitstop Pro 10 has a global change called minimum file size in order to change and remove some of the data and thus trying to get the file size as small as possible. Because the majority of the PDF data is related to images or fonts, the global change will downsize and compress images, remove any non-printable data, subset fonts and remove objects outside of a page box. On top of that, it will also crop any image data to the same page box. So when we run this global change, the result will be that the lower part of the image is cropped to the bleed box. The Action List Editor in Pitstop Pro 10 makes creating or editing action lists a lot easier. When creating a new action list, you'll see that the editor has completely changed. The actions are now on the left side. You have the actions per group and you can use the filter to search for specific actions. The five buttons on the top left display selections, changes, checks and forms. When I drag and drop selection actions onto my list and use operators to combine them, you will notice that there is a color indicator related to the operators to show which selections are linked to that operator. When changing an action's attributes, it is interesting that you can use the Alt key or Option key to copy that action once more into the action list so that you don't have to recreate the action from scratch. When multi-selecting actions you can create groups by using the context menu. That group can get a name and description 
that allows you to comment certain parts of your action list. Next to creating groups, you can also import an existing action list into any other action list. Enfocus has implemented a range of features based on customer feedback in Pitstop Pro 10. There is a preference that allows the user to view RGB colors as levels. The font picker now has a search engine. The quick runs are now part of the processing panel and are consistent with the other presets. Next to preflight profiles and action lists, you can now also add global changes. There is a standard quick run available that will try to improve any office document in Pitstop. The design layout has been substantially rewritten in Pitstop Pro 10. It now has a standard design layout specifically for guides. When activating a design layout, you now have an edit tool to change the design layout on screen. You can move your guides. You can use shortcuts like V in order to add a vertical guide. You can move the crosshair of a vertical and horizontal guide. And if you don't need the guides, you can use a shortcut G in order to. The edit tool can also change any of the page boxes that are set in the design layout. The design layout context menu now has an application for page and document. You can save your current version or revert back to the previously saved. After applying the design layout, you can view the page boxes using the view page box tool and you can edit the page boxes using the icon next to it, the edit page box. This tool allows you to individually move any of the four sides of a page box. Pitstop Pro 10 is able to clean up black colors better than before. Let's say that you have a document with different types of black, gray, RGB, ICC based RGB, and 100% K. The global change cleanup black will find all instances of the black colors and has the ability to change them to 100% K. The Bitstop Workgroup Manager allows large enterprises to buy floating licenses and restrict presets for all Pitstop Pros linked to the Workgroup Manager. When working with a commercial license, all presets are available and installed with the software. You have standard and local databases. In a large enterprise, that can be an issue. For that, we have designed the Pitstop Workgroup Manager. The Workgroup Manager is able to activate all floating licenses. We are able to create users that can be expelled from the rules and we can create groups. The rules can include everybody or exclude specific users and we link the database of presets plus we tell the workgroup manager which presets should be included in this rule. In the Pizza Pro preferences we fill out the IP address on which the workgroup manager is installed. After a restart you will see that the local and standard databases are no longer available and only the database set by the workgroup manager is available to be used. 